We just got access to ChatGPT Vision, so I gave it 10 challenges that it could either pass or fail to see how good it really is. We'll start with an easy one for it to do and end on a hard one to do as the number 10th challenge is the most important by far. How many of them do you think he's gonna fail? Well, let's get started with test number one. I wrote down the hardest math questions known to man. I'm gonna take a photo. I prompted it with solve these and sure it did. Test number two, I just drew a house, a man, a tree and a sun. If ChatGPT can't do that, it's pretty lame. A house with a window and a door, a sun shining in the sky, a person standing outside seemingly waving, a tree with a rounded canopy. Okay, that was way too easy. Test number three. In my hand, I have a McDonald's Coke Zero and you can see that it has the diet popped down. Does ChatGPT know? Also, how many ounces? The website says 22 ounces. I'm gonna ask it, what is in this cup? I cannot determine the exact contents of the cup based solely on the image. It's likely from McDonald's, could contain soda, iced tea, milkshake. It's even saying spills on the lid might suggest a fizzy drink like soda. I mean, the spills are like brown. Can you guess it's just doing soda or soft drink. So actually this is the first one that it doesn't pass, but it did say McDonald's cup with soda in it. So it's very close. I'm going to go more advanced in a second cause this vision model can do a lot of crazy things. But for test number four, can it see my nationality? I'm from Norway. So also my age is 28, can it get it? Oh no, it's saying, sorry, I cannot help with that. Where do you think the man on the picture comes from? Ah, I think this is where you have to say, it's me. He still says he can't do it. Just completely failed that test, which is kind of good, I guess. Might end up saying some racist shit, so that's good on you, ChatGPT. <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be like a 21 year old girl that takes a selfie and asks ChatGPT, hey, how old am I? And ChatGPT goes like, 42, period. Oh. Test number five. This website says that this exact amount of food has 357 calories. Take a screenshot and ask it how many calories. It's gonna give a rough estimate. It's saying approximately 420 to 460 calories. That's around 80, 90 calories of a deficit. I really wanted to pass this test. Let's try one more time. This dish is around 400 calories. Does ChatGPT know? It's saying approximately 310 to 360. And what about this one where you can't really see any of the ingredients? It's 391 calories. Rough estimate between 250 and 400 calories. It's not a bad guess. So ChatGPT, I'm gonna give you a pass on this test. For the next test, can it just do my work for me? Here's how to create an automated AI blog in less than 60 seconds. Go to seowriting.ai and click on get started. It's free. Now that I'm on the inside, I'm going to click on the one click blog post. Now all I need to do is put a main keyword and the title seven best kitchen knives under $500. We select the article size. A medium article is around 2000 to 3600 words. Here they actually have image generation. So I'm going to click on placement and in each section I can even select my own style. It even has its own SEO section. So I'm going to do best kitchen knife. we got a bunch of SEO keywords here. You can also select the structure. Like if you want a conclusion, if if you want to have the key takeaway. Also, it can connect to the web. So click on network and yes, source links. Sure. You're using a mix between GPT 3.5, 3.5 turbo and GPT four. So let's run it. Now it's finished. It's 3000 words. And as you can see, it has the key takeaways here in bullet points and highlighted words, even this insane AI generated images and these tables. This is absolutely such a beautiful article that could rank on Google. Just click on publish and it will publish directly to your WordPress website. But not only that, they have bulk article generation that can generate up to a hundred articles and post them all to WordPress in one click. I'm going to test it in the video coming up. So click the link in the description to go to seowriting.ai. Thank you so much to SEO writing for sponsoring this section of the video for the next test. Can it just do my work for me? Here I have an email. 
can I take a photo of it instead of copy pasting it and get it to answer for me? I'll take a picture. I wanted to answer something like, uh, we don't have more spots for October, but we might be able to fit you in for November. Okay, let's see what it does. It's actually writing the answer. <laughs> this will have such a huge new use case if you actually have like Google Glass that can actually see your emails and maybe a copy and paste assistant. Here is the image I sent and here is the answer. Very polite and yeah, passing the test with flying colors. Let's make it even harder for the next ones. Test number seven. Can it take this data right here and turn it into graphs from just a picture? Here is the picture I took and it actually says he can't access the data. So this is where I think we need to do code interpreter or I mean advanced data analysis. We can put the picture in here. Can you make some graphs from this data? I can't directly extract numerical data from an image file to create graphs. I should upload the CSV file. Obviously that is a better way to go about it, but we're testing out ChatGPT vision and it couldn't do it. Let me check if it's just a screenshot, not from the iPad. Let's see if that works. Nope, they can't extract data from image file. So it failed on this test. I don't know why I'm excited, but for test number eight, I'm gonna go to Google Maps, zoom in on Vietnam, and I'm gonna drag the street view man on top of a street in Da Nang, Vietnam. Maybe somewhere around here. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit hard for it. I don't know if we can actually guess where we are right now. Let's take a picture. Let's ask it, where is this picture taken? It's saying it's a coastal area, clear blue sea, boat, sandy shores, but without specific landmarks or iconic figures, it's difficult to determine the exact location. Should I ask it to guess? Okay, it's saying be regions from Southeast Asia, places like Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, or the Philippines. Pattaya in Thailand or Philippines could be some possibilities. So it's close. I did make it kind of hard for him. In Da Nang, they have this big statue right here. Let's see if it can find where we are. Yes, based on the image that appears to be in this sentence, I'm not going to pronounce. Da Nang, Vietnam, the large statue of the goddess of mercy and the laughing Buddha, 67 meter tall. So it passed. With a bad image, it guessed Southeast Asia. With a very specific image, it guessed Da Nang. Mm. Test number nine, I'm gonna get it to make a website and not just any website, I'm gonna get it to copy openai.com. I'm really curious if it's gonna do this. Let's see, can you code a website that looks like this? And here we go with the HTML, some CSS styling. Here is all the code. I don't even know if it works. So this is the website that we got, your logo, broken file, learn about your topic, a button. That's not good. I'm just gonna ask it to kind of fine tune it based on the OpenAI website. What about now? Yeah, it looks even worse. It's so weird because I've seen so many people on Twitter make a bunch of different websites that actually look good. So if I can't really make a website within two prompts, it didn't pass the test. So test number 10, the last and final test that is by far the most important is, can it be funny? Can it make memes? We're gonna go to image flip, create, make a meme, select between one of these templates like this. I'm gonna take a screenshot, give it to ChatGPT and ask. I think I will get a way better response if I say it's supposed to be funny. Let's see, eating salad, eating pizza, trying to decide which is healthier while on a diet. Let's ask it for some more examples. To be honest, this is as funny as an average Redditor. Save money for bills, buy new video game, when payday arrives and decisions need to be made. Study for exams, one more episode of Netflix, realizing the final is tomorrow. From the first prompt, it's making me chuckle not gonna lie. So making memes, I'll give it a pass. Out of all the 10 tests we did, four of them failed the McDonald's cup, the nationality and age, the make graphs from Excel, and I couldn't get the websites to work. It's funny because I know that the next time I test, it will probably get a 10 out of 10 score with just one more update. I appreciate so much that you watched this entire video, me having fun with ChatGPT, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Check out Patreon if you want exclusive content and click on the next video to watch more from me. All right, peace.